Volkswagen power. What's up? It's Eric. I've got a new build here I want to share with you guys. Uh, this is a street ripper, street basher. Uh, it's basically a, a short wheelbase felony, uh, being that it's got felony uh, front rear end on it, basically, and the diffs also, so that I can run these tires. I got the smaller in the front and the bigger, the bigger hoons in the back. Uh, this is basically a, a Volkswagen rat rod. Uh, something completely different. I haven't seen it done before in the street version. Uh, I just really wanted to uh, try to capture the kind of old school look. As you can see on the body here, I went for more of a uh, weathered look with the rust and stuff. And also, I put this roof rack on it just for some scale look. This is actually a rack, a roof rack that I had on my old tracks of Slash uh, Baja Bug a long time ago, probably four or five years ago. And luckily, I saved it. It's even got a little cooler and a little toolbox and gas can and stuff strapped in there. So hopefully, they'll stay in. I just think it just gives it a really cool scale look for the uh, overall Volkswagen rat rod look. And on the inside, again, it does have felony towers and diffs and shocks, uh, arms and all that in the front and in the rear. And I modified this T-bone bumper right here just to kind of give it some nice uh, protection in the back. As far as the electronics, uh, she's running a, a Hobby Star 2200 KV motor, a 4076 paired with a Max 8 ESC. And huge shout out to a mic from Game Changer RC for sending out this awesome cyclone fan right here this is his most powerful uh, dual fan setup and i'm uh, going to be running this off the esc right now because i don't have a separate uh 4s battery for it um it does he does have these adapters right here which is really cool that you can plug into that um he, this is for a 4s uh he's got a 3s and 6s so you can just plug it right into your battery to uh, power the fans up so it's not going to have quite the power since uh, it's running off the esc it's not going to have the 4s power that this fan requires but this thing is super super windy uh, it is uh, even plugged into the ESC. It blows air throughout the entire uh, truck right here. I'm not even going to have the ESC fan plugged in. I'm just going to run off this fan right here because it blows so much air even around the ESC. So it should keep everything really cool. So again, big shout out to uh, Mike from Game Changer RC. I'll put a link to uh, his uh, store down in the description. And big uh, shout out again to uh, Garrett Howe for sending out some amazing uh, bearings. Uh, this car is sporting some uh, ceramic bearings, some ABEC 5 ceramics in the hubs in all four corners. I'll put a link to his store. These are some top of the line ceramic bearings, uh, rubber sealed, uh, just butter, butter smooth. So I'm just really anxious to uh, see how she performs with them. Again, I'll put a link to his store, uh, De Definitive Solutions. You guys check it out. He's got uh, bearings for the 8S models, 6S models, along with a lot of other uh, RC parts and upgrades. So again, uh, Definitive Solutions, you guys check it out. And the diffs, I'm running uh, 10,000 in the back, 200,000 in the center and 7,000 in the front. So we'll see how that does. And real quick, here's a, a shot of uh, Game Changer RC's Goliath V3 fan. Guys, this thing is massive. You can see compared to my hand, uh, this would really work out nice in the 8S trucks or if you can find a spot to put it like in the infraction or felony if you're doing speed runs, uh, strap it in somewhere. This thing would put off some tremendous amount of air. It's almost like a, uh, like a heat pump for a house. <laughs> this thing is huge. So uh, again, this will be given away with the Outcast 8S EXB that I'm giving away. I will announce the winner on the 27th of October, uh, this coming Wednesday as of the shooting of this video. Uh, so it'll be on the community tab on my uh, YouTube. So if you want to keep up with that, see who the winner is. And again, they'll be getting a uh, Goliath V3 fan to go along with it for free. I did have to make a modification uh, because the felony diffs uh, and infraction also, the ring gear is on the right side. Uh, like the, all the other 6S models, bashing trucks, the uh, ring gear is usually on the left side right here. And I wanted to keep everything the way it was stock uh, because apparently the diff case is made just a little bit different. And I don't want to screw up any kind of mesh situation with the ring and pinion. So I just uh, took a Dremel and I had to uh, Dremel a slot down in the chassis back here. Because uh, normally you got a little cut out on this side for the ring gear to sit. So I just took a Dremel and Dremel down right here so that the uh, ring gear had a nice place to sit. And did that on the front and, the, and in the rear. But she does have the M2C chassis. This is a Typhon Outcast chassis, by the way, so it's basically a short wheelbase felony. Again, I went for the old school VW rat rod look. I think it looks really cool. I love the uh, big tires in the back. Really gives it that nice, that nice scale look. So, all right, guys, we'll see what she'll do.
This thing's a hoot to drive. All right, guys, burnout time. <laughs> Gnarly man. I left a little bit of rubber. I got a wheelie. Hit a rock. Volkswagen power. <laughs> Who says you can't send a streetcar? Hit that curb. Guys, that's gonna be it for the maiden run. A little Volkswagen rat rod. This thing is so much fun. A little tricky to control being on a short wheelbase uh, with the hoons and stuff like that. Uh, basically, again, she's short wheelbase felony. Uh, the bigger tires in the back uh, made for a tricky, fun ride for sure. Uh, the body has some little cracks in it from a couple spills that I had, but it's cool. It just kind of adds to the overall effect of the body. Um, but I'll probably go in and reinforce it uh, for the next run for sure. Again, big shout out to uh, Garrett Howe for his awesome bearings. The car ran butter smooth on them. Uh, again, they were rubber sealed ceramic uh, ball bearings, ABEC 5s, and also Mike from Game Changer RC. Again, I'm still waiting on a 4S pack to come in and run those fans separately to get the full performance out of them, but it still kept everything cool. And as always, big shout out to M2C Racing. So uh, we'll get this baby out again, we'll fine tune her a little more, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. RC Dude 81, peace out.